This week on Moto Man, we meet a Canadian living in California, designing Japanese sports cars, and has a thing for sharks. I used to be a huge Japanese sports car fan. In fact, I own two, the RX-7 and the Supra, and I love them both. I never completed the trifecta and bought the Z. The funny thing is, the Z is the last man standing out of the three of them. Now, we have a 2010 convertible, and in getting to know this car, I've gotten to know the story behind this iconic Japanese sports car, and why it's still alive. Here's a hint, it has something to do with the good old US of A and not for the reasons that you think. Let's find out how. Driving new cars is really cool, but going back to where they're born, now that's Motorman. So now we're at Nissan Design America, where this car was born. Let's go in and meet some of the people behind it. Let's meet the grand poobah of Nissan Design America, Bruce Campbell. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you for hosting us here. This is a fantastic facility you got. Well, thanks. So what we wanted to find out a little bit about is Nissan Design America, what do you guys do here? And walk me through some of the cars that actually came out of here. Sure, well, we're part of a global group. Mm -hmm. We were really charged to be the eyes, ears, and hands mm -hmm. for the design for products here in the Americas. And that's how it started. Because at that time, um, it was a very wise uh, Japanese head that uh, discovered that most of the product is being sold in North America. Mm -hmm. So why not have the influence of of non-Japanese designers yeah. um, doing the actual design of the cars here. The Nissan 370Z, most people would tell you, is a Japanese car. But the company is actually very proud to say that it was created under a global collaboration. But I found out an interesting tidbit. The concept of this very car you see here was designed right here in America, in the California Republic. And we've actually got the guy who penned it himself. Let's welcome Randy Rodriguez. Hi, Warren, man. Welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks, thanks for having me. So, I'm looking at you and you look like you're 10 years old. And you got a car that you designed here. That's gotta be amazing. It's gotta be a great feel. Yeah, it's a total dream come true. Yeah, just my whole life I've been sketching cars and yeah. my first car was a Datsun, so. So you actually did have a Datsun. What kind of Datsun? For those of you who don't know, Datsun was the name of Nissan before it became Nissan. Yeah. Anyway, go a, on. I had a 280Z when I was 14 years old. So my your mother. first car was actually a Z? You're not lying to us. You're not yeah. making this up. I've had about 10 Z cars my whole life. Really? So, yeah, my, my family is a total Datsun Nissan family. And okay. It's one of the big reasons why I want to work for Nissan. So, How do you go from being a kid in Canada that had a Z as his first car to standing here with me with a car you designed that has a Z badge on it? My parents really wanted me to be a, mm -hmm. a doctor. So, uh, you know, doctor. After, okay. after, after high school, I went this to... This is a doctor of Yeah, I went doctor to uh, university to, to, to study that, sciences. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I realized that if I'm going to be happy in this life, i got to really uh -huh. follow my heart and do what I want to do, and that was Absolutely. to design cars. You know, after that, I left school and mm -hmm. for a couple of years just worked, like, everywhere, gas stations, like, yeah. digging ditches, just to save up money to go to design school. I mean, your dad's a mechanic, and he can point at every new Z that comes out and say, "My son actually did that." Yeah, yeah, it's my gotta be totally are, cool. Yeah, they're pretty. Uh, yeah. they're pretty funny about it. Like my mom carries a magazine with me in it. Yeah. And shows people and stuff. So, so she doesn't have pictures of her grandkids in her wallet. She has pictures of a Z. Yeah, she has a picture of a Z. Now that's a good mom. Zs are special. Mm -hmm. they, they they really are. And uh, yeah, and speaking of specials, how did you get the, a kid that his first car was a Z <laughs> to actually design the Z? 
Randy is a good example of the people that we actually employ here at Nissan Design. Is there some like program that people should know about 14 year olds that you're giving away Z's to kind of the farm team? It's simply we hire the top of the class, mm -hmm. we hire the people with the most talent and okay. the most passion. Okay. These people are passionate about design. So now let's talk about Z's as it relates to Nissan Design America. Walk me back from the 240Z forward. How right. much input have you guys sure. had on the Z brand? Okay. Well, obviously, 240 was mm -hmm. the first iconic sports car for Nissan. Yeah. Um, it really gave us the ownership of that letter Z. Okay. So that's where it really all started. Okay. And I think everybody knows how the, that 240 kind of migrated to a, a, a sporty car. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened after the 300 was yeah. the Z was really slated to die. Mm -hmm. That moment was just about the same moment as the alliance between Renault and, and Nissan. Uh, funny thing, Mr. Gohn uh, was taking his, uh, what called it, the Gimba tour, the tour that uh, he did of all of the facilities when he started. He, he came into our facility. We were working under cover of a kind of a con counter proposal that we thought it was a crime to lose that, that letter Z. We had a small concept uh, that was roughly a, two, a contemporary 240. Yeah. He simply saw that, and yeah. at that time, he says, but of course we're going to do this. We'll continue yeah. this. Absolutely. So the, the Z was So in the really case of the French and the Americans worked well together. Yeah, of course, yeah. So the Z was really So Statue of one. Liberty and Z all came from Franco-American relations. Yeah. Again, the short story is uh, from that moment, the Z was reborn, yeah. and we were really starting to create the 350, okay. which was we had internally a debate, a big debate, how much retro heritage design, Absolutely. how much modern design should it be. Okay, so let's talk about your car here. So from what I understand, you're the one that penned the concept for the latest Z. Yeah, I've been drawing Zs my whole life, and uh, when they asked us to do the, you know, the 370, the replacement for the 350, yeah. they wanted it to be a super evolution, and okay. the concept was a erotic me mechanism. So the erotic wanted, mechanism? Yeah. Yeah, they... So a very corporate Japanese company mm -hmm. said to you, we want erotic yeah, mechanisms. Erotic. I'm going to borrow that material. <laughs> I'm sure I could find a place I could use it. Anyway, you, you can want. probably pull up some nice imagery on that. <laughs> but um, I was watching, actually, Discovery Channel, yeah. Shark Week, and I got oh, a lot I love of... Shark Week. Yeah. I, I, I totally love, love it. love Shark Week. I can tell you for many years I've been watching Shark Week, and I have never thought I'm going to design a car based on Shark Week. I've got a thing for big cats, and I watch big cat shows hours on end, and I have never thought, you know what, I'm going to design something based off that cat. What's it like when you walk through a parking lot and you actually see these cars here? Yeah. Is it like a proud papa kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah, it's totally, like, you know, when you're a designer and you work on something, it's, yeah. it's totally your baby. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, when, when, you, when you draw something, it's really cool, but when you actually see something, you know, on the road or something physical, it's, you know, you just, you can't, you can't really yeah. express in words how you feel. To be honest, a great designer never turns it off. Yeah. Well, I think it's interesting that a Japanese company that actually has some French ownership yeah. has a significant amount of input from America for their designs. That's right. a lot to say. And that's what coming to work every day is, yeah. keeps it fun. It really okay. It's about collaboration and it's about this, you know, there's a, there's a clash that yeah. happens. Can you just imagine? French, Japanese, and Americans? Oh, I can Boy. only imagine. Yeah, it's, it's just that's, like, that's like a beginning of a joke. A French guy, a yeah, Japanese yeah, yeah. guy, and an American yeah. walk into a bar. I gotta say, it's, it's very exciting for us to come and meet with you because you know, we love the cars and we spend time with the cars and you'll definitely see that we have a fun driving with these cars. But to get to hear the background, the backstory that you know, Carlos Ghosn, who's a, kind of a larger than life figure, came through and actually said, we gotta pull this thing from the obscurity and make this thing a car really is a treat for us. And from what I'm seeing, you guys take some time off and they play volleyball oh, in their sand volleyball court sure. right on the facility. Yeah. Yep. It's so a good life. When can I start? We, uh, <laughs> I used to draw cars in my notes. Send your CV in resume. I will do that. Right. Bruce, very thank you very much okay, for your time. You. I really appreciate it. I'm going to say thank you for joining us on Moto Man. Thanks, Moto Man. I really appreciate yeah. it. And thank you. For, I can't say congratulations enough. I mean, the fact that you had a Z car as your first car, then this is what you're designing now. When I grow up, I want to be this guy. Yeah. Only in the California Republic. Now this is living life. Literally driving a brand new 370Z convertible and going and meeting the guys responsible for it. Now life that kid has, 31 years old, 
rides two motorcycles, has a Z that he designed himself, and works in that place with a sand volleyball court in the back. Jeez! And I thought I had a good gig. Closest thing that I came to something like that at college was doing an internship building BMWs. I was a factory line worker. See, kids, your mother is right. If you really put your mind to it, you can be anything you want in life. Randy gave me his business card as we were walking out the door, and all it says is designer. What it should say is living the dream. Randy's story tells us two things. Number one, if your kid even shows an inkling to the rust bucket sitting in the driveway, encourage him. And number two, make sure he watches Shark Week a lot. The Z is more than an iconic sports car. It's a handful of people that have kept it alive for the past 40 years. Everyone from the French Lebanese guy that said, we must build Z's, to the Canadian kid that worked on a beat up 280Z 17 years ago. That's why this iconic Japanese sports car is actually more than just Japanese. On the weekends, this is for enthusiasts to speed. Even the California Highway Patrol stays away from here. Oh, hey now. That's a bad day at the office. That's a very bad day at the office. How you doing? How you doing? Oh boy, this is a bad day at the office. It's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Yeah, we don't like stop signs. See you later. Encourage him. And number two, I'm gonna, see, of course, a Prius driver has to beep at me for driving too fast. And my, oh man, we got some air there. Woo hoo! That's the Japanese version of good old boys. My grandmother used to say, stay away from the bad kids. The bad kids will get you in trouble. Well, now I'm hanging around with the bad kids and look, grandma, I'm driving 60 miles an hour around corners, I should be doing 30. Hopefully the Pulitzer didn't see that.